Well, hello YouTube. Today I'm going to do a how-to video, and it's going to be how to make a flexible duct connector. This is a 10 by 20. I'm going to be making a 10 by 25 flexible duct connector. What it is, is the two pieces of metal that have a rubber gasket in the middle. I use, use these a lot when I'm doing a change out or if I'm doing an air filter media upgrade where I have to change the bottom of a return air. Uh, it allows me to make a nice airtight seal, do a little bit of sheet metal work and, and put it in there and cut down on the vibration that might be uh, transmitted throughout the house. So we'll get started here in just a second. Alright, the flexible duct connector comes in a long roll. I have it inside this box right here. So I roll it out of the box and I have my measurements all figured out on this, on this piece of paper right here. I want to make a 10 by 25, see if I can get this on there, a 10 by 25 duct connector. So what I have here is 25, 10, 25, 10. I've got one inch here for an inch of overlap of the metal, and then two inches on the end for some additional overlap for the rubber gasket material. I'll go ahead and uh, pull that uh, flexible connector out of that box. I'll we'll start measuring it up. Okay, I've got that flexible duct connector laid out here on my table. And I'm going to transfer the dimensions that I told you earlier about onto this piece. So I've got the two inches, another inch, and I gotta go 10, which puts me right to here. And then 25. Another 10. And then 25 more. All right, I've got my safety gloves on. I do have safety glasses on as well. And I've got my, my notchers here. And what I've done is I've transferred my marks to go all the way across the sheet metal from side to side. So I've got nice index marks. What this can allow me to do is use my notchers to go right in that line and to give me a nice index mark. So when I put it through the break, I know where to bend this. And I put a, a notch on every one of these lines and the ends of the sheet metal so I can do all my proper bends when we're all done. Let's get started here. And these are my one inch notchers. Line up the tip right on my line. Cut the end off as well here so I can ease it. Flip it to the other side here. Reset the camera, get ready for the next part. All right, on this flex duct, there's a kind of a rougher edge on the inside here, and there's a nice finish edge. I like to have the finished edge on the outside, so I'm gonna flip it upside down, and now you can see why I use my notchers uh, to make my, my cuts. So I, these are my index marks for my brake. I'll just line this up in my brake and start bending. This is my first end, it's the end with the extra rubber on it. Line up my two index marks, get it nice and square. And it's important when you square this to stretch out the rubber so it's nice and flat from both sides. You don't have any, any bend that's not straight. You want to have a nice square connector. So 
taking an extra second to line it up well as it pays itself back. All right, the first 90. Through the next one. Starting to come together here. Just got one more 10 inch bend here. Ooh, that was definitely off on this one. I'll have to adjust that. When it comes time here, let's measure this real quick. A little sheet metal to trim. Well, all the bending's done. For this next part, you can pop rivet this, you can use some sheet metal screws. I happen to have a spot welder right here, so I'm gonna end up spot welding it. And you can see right here, I've got the rubber overlap. I'm gonna put that on my inside. I'm also gonna put my bent corner on the inside. So what I do is I line up my edge here, right where it needs to be. Another reason why I use those notchers, I can actually get it exactly where I want it to be. It's gonna be lined up here. Put the old squeeze on it with my spot welder. A couple seconds of welding. That one's good. Switch get the other side started here. If you've got a foot operated spot welder, it makes this a little bit easier, but I don't happen to have that luxury. That's lined up. more of these and we'll be done here. Let me just tidy this up. Okay, I've got it all spot welded together. You can see the spot welds right inside here. And this is the rubber flap that I was talking about. See if I can get my hands out of the way. This helps you keep an airtight seal uh, in the actual unit. So, what I'm going to use is some rubber cement. I've seen guys use PVC cement. I think the manufacturer does recommend some rubber cement. So I've got that flap ready to go. Load up a little bit of the rubber cement here. I'm just going to paint it in there on that flap. Both sides. All right, rubber cement's on the inside there. I've got a weight sitting on the inside here, keeping pressure on that so it can get a nice tight seal. And on the edges here, I'll leave them flat for now, but you can always get your bar folder on there and fold it out if you need to put uh, drives and S cleats on here. I leave it blank like this because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna need to uh, use until I get to the job site, but that's it. It's a 10 by 25 flexible duct connector. Have a good day. Thank you for calling Hyde Heating and Air Conditioning.